hello everyone how are you uh, students in today's lecture i am going to start a new book that is about symmetry analysis for partial differential equation or you can say pde uh, students after looking at that name uh, the first thing that comes in our mind is what is symmetry if we look at a circle of a radius r basically this is a circle of radius r then we can easily get an idea that a circle is symmetric about its coordinate axis means uh, we say that circle is a perfect symmetry but uh, what is the definition of a symmetry then let me write it down uh, students its definition says that a symmetry is a transformation that leaves an object unaltered means uh, we are given a transformation and if we substitute our transformation in a given pde and ordinary differential equation then if the differential equation remains unaltered then we will say that the symmetry exists in that differential equation or uh, in that curve because every curve is a solution of some differential equation okay and uh, this is just uh, a geometric interpretation of what i have just said that uh, a circle and sphere is a perfect symmetry because definitely its curvature remains the same now student let me explain it with an example uh, let's say here we have a point x y and uh, we say that we have applied a transformation on this point and we have found a new point that is x bar y bar and here we have a circle of radius 1 uh, x square plus y square is equal to 1 and we are given a transformation that is equal to x cos epsilon plus y sin epsilon and y bar is equals to minus x sin epsilon plus y cos epsilon basically these are the rotational transformation for a circle now students if you uh, want to find its symmetry or you want to check either it is symmetric with these transformation or not then you just need to write it as x by bar square plus y bar square and you need to substitute these two values here like x cos epsilon plus y sin epsilon uh, square plus into minus x sin epsilon plus y cos epsilon square now you know that students we have a formula a plus b whole square is equals to a square plus 2 a b plus b square now you just need to apply this formula on this term and also on this term so after simplifying we will get now students uh, if we expand these two these two terms by using this formula then definitely these two terms will cancel out with each other and from here if i take x square as common then i will left with cos square epsilon plus sin square epsilon and in the similar way we can plug out y square as common and we will get sin square epsilon plus cos square epsilon and we know the identity that cos square epsilon plus sin square epsilon is equals to one so if i substitute one here then uh, we are left with x square plus y square and that is equal to one okay now students after simplifying this what we get an idea is that um, uh, as I, I can explain again from the definition a symmetry is a transformation that leaves an object unaltered now we have a transformation and here the object is our given circle and i have substituted these two transformations here and after substituting i get the same result as given in equation number one so uh, in a circle if we take a point here and the transformed point will lie on the same circle so in this way we will say that a symmetry exists in a circle or we can also write is circle and sphere are perfectly symmetric Uh, so student this is basically just an idea about what is symmetry uh, in the coming lectures we will talk about the symmetry groups and uh, the transformations here we have just used the transformations but in the coming lectures i will discuss how we can find these transformations for the given curves and uh, student this is all about today's lecture i hope you understand thank you so much